Tim Pool having a Joker moment, and not like the cool Joker, like Indian Jokar, but like the weird, uh, you know, uh, gas station Joker. Okay, he's he's losing James his shit. An anti-establishment individual, and I and I mean that with respect, but he is outright just a journalist. Is facing. James O'Keefe is not a fucking journalist, okay? He's not. His entire purpose on this planet is to deceptively edit shit, try to fucking go and get people to say stuff uh, so that he can, like, secretly film it and then deceptively edit it and make it seem like they're saying something else. The only reason why James O'Keefe is still in operation and not actually fucking in jail or whatever Maybe not in jail, but the only reason why James O'Keefe is not... What is this? You versus Tim Pool win? Is because he is backed entirely by the Republican Party. But he is like a total fucking scumbag. A total liar. My God, uh, he has been... My best he has tried the debate, for example, the this. Washington Post, and got chat. fucking owned. And he gets owned regularly. He gets called out regularly for fucking lying... But it doesn't matter because the Republicans don't care as long as it's on their side. They literally do not care that James O'Keefe is lying Another all the fucking time. Sing the boot of the authoritarian fascist government. And it will get worse and it will happen to you because you keep complying. And you keep saying, but my kids need food. And now inflation is here and there's food shortages you and your kids aren't eating. And the what is that? Who is he talking to? Like, who Who does Tim Pool know, like, that is, that, that is experiencing, like, a drastic food shortage where their children cannot eat food? Like, what? Fools. And also, I mean, there are food deserts in this country. There are millions of families that have regularly been uh, uh, having a hard time feeding their, their kids, right? That's like millions of families are, are food insecure. That's why school lunch good. programs are really important. Um, but I've never heard him talk about school lunch programs or even like a, a, a fundamental part of Build Back Better, which would have actually offered child tax credits to millions of families and, and take them out of the depths of like child poverty and food insecurity. I've never seen him advocate for shit like that. Uh, and lastly, why the fuck would anybody care about James O'Keefe if their child is starving? I mean, that's like, that's the perfect example of Republican commentary, which is like, inflation is here, there's food insecurity, you can't feed your child, and, and that's all because you didn't care about James O'Keefe. What are you fucking stupid? I feel like the more asses. important issue there is to like address the food insecurity. I, I think who gives a fuck about some like charlatan clown ass who regularly lies and gets owned all the fucking time and is only alive as a consequence of like uh, the Republican party uh, advocating for him all the time. The schools are indoctrinating your kids. And yeah, one of these things is not like the others, bro. Schools are indoctrinating your kids. Schools are indoctrinating your kids. That's what you care about more. If, then your child's These not sentences. starving. Okay. James, because you keep complying and you keep saying, but my kids need food. And now you have to admit you're taking this clip out of context. Tim Pool is equally as cringe within the context this clip was taken. Now from. inflation is here and there's food shortages My and your kids aren't eating and the schools sad. are indoctrinating. How can you report on food insecurity if journalism blocks it? That's the funniest part is that like James O'Queef that he's talking about is like most famous for taking down Acorn, right? Like, so this idea that, uh, this idea that fucking, uh, you know, James O'Keefe cares about, like, the poor, the plight of the poor is also a ridiculous one. So, there is that, too. So. He literally, in 2009, made those undercover videos about associations of community organizations for reform now, which was a... Uh, NGO that was created in 1970 
And it was an international collection of autonomous community-based organizations that advocate for low and moderate income families by working. And he literally took them down. James O'Keefe's like prominent uh, achievement, like he, the, the thing that put him on the map was those undercover videos There's that he a lot shot. Of shit going down in Kazakhstan right now since they lifted price limits on liquefied petroleum gas, basically full on revolution will probably impact global oil and prices. of course none of that is the reason why he got clapped he probably got clapped because he's an anti-vaxxer i mean of course he's an anti-vaxxer